<laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Jay Well. Welcome to Surround Center, where I teach you to elevate your surroundings to a sanctuary through the magic of fragrance using candles, colognes, and car scents. So today I got a special one for you. I'm bringing you a full review of the new Polo Cologne Intense. But before I get into that, Polo is one of the most popular uh, brands of cologne out there. Seems like every guy who owns a cologne has a cologne from Polo, whether it be red, blue, the green, black, whatever you got. Let me know down low in the comments. I got a uh, red extreme. This is this was my favorite, probably eh, still is my favorite. Maybe this uh, this new one is giving it a run for its money, but uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. But let me know your uh, favorite polo. Drop your polo below in the comments. Let's get into this review. So this particular fragrance is going to be brought to us by the uh, House of Ralph Lauren, which has given us a bunch of different staples out there for the cologne community, uh, i.e. red, which is going to be citrusy, spicy. Then you got your black, which is going to be more fruity and sweet, woody. Then you got blue, which is going to be, you know, aquatic and ozonic, kind of airy, fresh. And then you got green, which is, you know, as the name implies, more green and, you know, rich, more fresh, woody, aromatic, really. Really a very nice aromatic fragrance. That's what you're going to be getting from green. And they did not disappoint with the new joint. This one is definitely aromatic. Definitely giving you that uh, really fresh herbaceous kind of uh, feeling right off the top citrusy i'm gonna get to it but uh first off the presentation classic green iconic little horse on there and this one is giving you a brushed nickel not my words i heard it described as that a brushed nickel as the uh top and the horse as opposed to the original gave you green and gold I'm kind of still more of a fan of the green and gold, like the gold more, but um, this is definitely a nice one. And the actual overall size, it kind of looks like an emerald. This is a big bottle, but you know, the green is a nice color green as well. Definitely like this bottle overall. I think the presentation, definitely I'll give it a, a four out of five. Moving on to the actual fragrance. What's inside this bad boy? It's giving you some mint grapefruit and basil still stuck with the basil on the top they didn't take that out but they did strip the spice uh the coriander from the top moving on to a mid a clary sage violet and thyme so they stripped all the florals and stripped the leather from the mid and then a base of ambroxan patchouli and vetiver so they stripped the tobacco and the oak moss so it's overall a less woody less resinous uh scent so it doesn't have that same appeal for me in the cold weather this one is definitely more suited for spring summer than the original that's going to be my overall take on it let's get into the fragrance though Definitely off the top, the burst of grapefruit. You're getting that minty freshness and the aromatics from the thyme and a little bit of the floral from the violet, not so much. But then you're also getting that, uh, uh, the kind of woodiness, but fresh woodiness from the vetiver right off the bat though. So as this fragrance dries down, <clears throat> it's gonna straight evolve and uh, it's going to be more complex it's going to straight just change into a whole different fragrance in my opinion because when at first spray it's going to be a burst of you know citrusy freshness the mint and that's going to kind of last like the first half an hour to hour but then it's going to straight change into so such a sweet fragrance like sweet and earthy and just like spicy and fresh and it is just an incredible incredible scent um in the mid in my opinion going into that four hour mark into which it kind of tames down it's no longer going to be projecting around you it's no longer uh, it's going to be more in arms like somebody uh, get it when they're having a conversation with you <clears throat> and the 
vetiver actually does start to shine through at that point in time. Um, and I think the vetiver lasts with in combination with the grapefruit and the uh, violet a little bit, the sweetness of the violet. I think the, that combination really will bring you all the way home to about the six hour mark, seven hour mark. So overall, I think this one is lasting six to eight hours, which is actually great for, uh, for this fragrance. It's really checks all the boxes for me, which brings us into our score. The projection, I gave this one a four out of five. Moving into the longevity of 4.5 out of 5. This one really lasts a long time. And the overall smell gave this one a 4 out of 5 as well. Definitely love, love, love the smell of this one. For an overall score of a 9. This fragrance is a 9 out of 10. And when I will wear it, definitely a winter, summer, spring, fall, office, date. It's going to be a all year round any type of occasion uh it really has a, a refined uh elegance to it that can give it a nice like dress up but it also is like fresh and citrusy so you know you can play around with it it will be nice for a date too with the sweetness of the patchouli the warm spiciness and uh i, I really think just for uh winter winter is the only time where this one and eh, on those super cold days i would probably go for the original polo as opposed to this one because it has a uh, the leather and more of a spicy nuance to it this one is more aromatic and fresh bright definitely for the warm uh, uh spring summer that's my take on the new polo cologne intense um if you like the video if i drop some knowledge on you man let you know a little bit uh, uh about the fragrance to enlighten you or to make your purchase or to not make the purchase not pull that trigger definitely like and subscribe and remember to drop your polo below i'm jay will oh make sure you hit that notification bell too so when i drop it you got it thanks for tuning in i'll see you on the next one